Coming up on Help, I Sexted My Boss. We decide our dream dinner party guest list. And what is Jordan writing on his sheet? It's all sheet. Hello and welcome to our Friday episode. This is where we see how much extra content we can squeeze into your week. Random things that have been sent in, extra bits that have been going on, and how our advice went down with you, our wonderful Gene Divas. I know I said it on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I I said, you're looking great. Thank you. Uh, I am... I, I genuinely don't want to sound like I'm taking piss because you're, you're. No, I know good. you're not. Yeah, you're good. And I don't. And yeah, and you're not on a diet. You're on a weight loss journey. I'm. On... <laughs> That's what you meant to say, aren't you? Apparently. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look, you look great. I'm on yeah. a WLJ. See more meat in Paul McCartney's fridge. Good. Well, and this Jordan is busting out all over. And I'm still busting out of this. As the song sort of you goes. Look absolutely great. Yes. But you, you look great before as well. I'm going to shut up, but genuinely. Thank you. Yeah, you're glowing. Well, just, you know, we'll we'll get it on later. We absolutely won't. We've had a few reactions to Jordan's tasting salt prank, continuing a theme, in the book club, Blowing Kisses and Ball Questions episode. Danielle tried it in front of her parents. Do you want to just recap, actually, what this was? Okay, so uh, you actually didn't do it proper. Lee. You go, it's been around for years, this. Yes. We did it with me and I, Mags I, years <laughs> ago. We did it with my Auntie Mags years ago, right. me and old Paul. So you say, you know, you, have you heard that, like, how clever your brain is? If you stick your tongue out and shake salt in it, you can hear it. So people go, and they go, I can't, I can't taste it. And then you go, right, try it with both hands. And they go, <laughs> like that. And it looks like... Can we clip that up this week? So <laughs> there's that on so the internet. So we did it with you. Got a good reaction, didn't it? The yes. old ones are the best. And uh, Danielle tried it in front of her parents. That yep. was brave. Um, it was a major source of entertainment at Gillian's aunt's 65th birthday party. Brilliant. Nice. Yeah. Good. And Rebecca called us little shits as her seven-year-old daughter saw it and did it. Oh, well, no. Oh, we God. cannot be held responsible. And uh, Damien replied to us in all caps saying, heavens no, I just did it in front of my colleagues. Brilliant. Well, how to get a promotion. Oh. Uh, I'm sure that was very embarrassing. We also asked what Jordan is writing when you scribble away in the middle of a recording. We did a, there was a still that we put up on our social oh. mead. And you sometimes, it's often you just, well, I know what you do do, so I'm not going to say it now. But we asked our Gene Divas what they thought you were actually writing. Do you want me to tell you what I'm writing? Well, why don't we look at the listener suggestions and you can tell us if any of these are correct. Okay. 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 Brenda thinks you're writing your memoirs. Not quite. No. Emily said you are repeatedly... (laughs) Emily said you are repeatedly writing, I wasn't sacked, I left. (laughs) Just Sounds like that all work and no play leaves Jack a dull boy. I wasn't writing that. Hannah said Jordan's planning your next picky tea. You don't plan a picky tea. No. A picky tea plunge you. <laughs> That's what we were saying. Jeez. Martha imagines you drawing comic book strips in the adventures of the dressing gown belt. Mm. Should patent that. Yeah. Should pitch that to a publisher. Possibly. Yeah. Um, Sophie thinks you're sketching someone sprinkle sparkle spunking. No. No? No, no. No, no. Sometimes I doodle. A lot you of do it. sometimes but, doodle. Yeah. Um, Helen suggested that you're sketching the West Wing extension of the North Mansion. It's already been done, love. Is that ceiling crumbling as well? You've got a crumbling ceiling, haven't you? Yeah, sorted it. Have you sorted it? Mm. Had a team of professionals in? Well, I didn't do it myself. I'm not very DIY no, friendly. I'm not I? very DIY friendly. No. Oh, and lots of you think Jordan is drawing penises. No, I'm not. No. I think I know what you're doing. What? You just do your little autograph, don't you? No, sometimes I doodle and just type it out. A lot of the time, mm. well, it is just general doodling, okay? But a lot of the time, I have my pen with me because you'll be talking and I don't want to interrupt you. So to... <laughs> Makes to, a change. To, don't say that because... I, so I'll, I'll, if I want to say something or I think it's going to be funny, I'll write it down <laughs> so I don't interrupt you because then I'll forget oh. it, how my mind works and then I get really frustrated. And I do it all the time. I go, oh, what were we going to say then? Or So I always just write stuff down. Like I put here, on here... Look at your weight loss journey. I put there. <laughs> that was at the start of the episode. Yeah, but I didn't want to forget. Right. So okay. write little notes down. Well, that's good. Okay. But you do sometimes also just go Jordan North, Jordan North, Jordan North, don't you? Is that a bit weird? N- we, who, just, who doesn't practice their autograph? I am not practicing my autograph. I'm just doodling. Okay. Doodling. Nice. Sometimes I draw Willies, to be fair. Our Ryan can draw the best cartoon Willies. Can he? Yeah. 
Well, it's nice to have I a see, I used to, like, walk through school and see a big dick on the toilet door, and I'd be like... That's how Ryan's. That's how Ryan's at. I know he's willing for me. That sounds weird. <laughs> well, you did share a bunk bed. Yeah, but I knew if he'd draw one. Right. Come on, like, is he your Willie in uh, B block toilet? So, yeah, don't crush me in. Anyway. Lovely. Um, we're knee deep in our summer of D because, as you know by now, three weeks in. Yeah. Four weeks in now. Give me the D is back. Should we have a sing song? Let's do it. Should we do this manly? Should right. we do this manly? How flipping rude. What do you think we've been doing for the we've last? We've been doing it quite. Should we do it like. What's manly? I want D. No, that's no, not. that's just northern. Uh, how can we do it manly? What's now, that? What's that noise? I've found that a you? little knob on my chair and that's going <laughs> to... There's been a little knob on that chair for six and a half years, love. <laughs> that's just going to annoy everyone now. Yeah. Why have I discovered that? Jordan, Just let stop me get it, it out of my system, please. <laughs> just waiting for the jingle. That's all right. Adam's just closing the porn and we're <laughs> with you in a minute. No, he don't want us to do the... <laughs> Making jokes anymore, it's not fair. He's gone to pod off pod. Off pod. Pod com. That's what he was on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the jingle. I want the D. I need, I need it now. Please tell me when. Please tell me how. I'm thirsty and thirsty and eager. You see. So come on, boys, give, give me, me the D. Cha, cha, cha. We need to work on your range. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Need to work on your attitude. Each and every week, you could be the proud owner of not one, but two bottles of D. Yes, uh, look out for a picture of us tightly gripping the D on Instagram. Tag a friend and we'll pick a winner at random. All you've got to do is head to our Instagram page each Friday between now and the end of August and you could be winning some D. We'll be back after this. Hey, welcome back, Gene Divas. Thanks for listening to our Friday episode. This is where we just go through some responses and tittle-tattle that you've sent in. Uh, well, well, oh, that's a lovely letter. What's that? Yeah, so this, I've got a handwritten letter. I've been, uh, I've been hard at it at my desk, writing back to a few Gene Divas. I'm at the point where the letters, people have written thank you letters to us for our live show, and it's lovely. And it's really nice. I'm, like, reliving the live oh, show. Oh, I want to see some the of these. Are, okay, are there any, well, any address to me? Not normally. And if oh. they are, I put them in the bin. Um, well, no, you don't write back. I write back. So what's the point writing to you? I am going to start writing To be back. fair, I brought in a couple for you to have a look yeah, at, didn't I? I've got one. This is one is from Kat. I'll paraphrase. She's also sent something in. Dear William Jordan and the Sexted Crew, sending love from Glasgow. We were delighted to hear that you enjoyed coming up to Scotland during your tour and that William survived the old firm intact. I brought my girlfriend, who enjoyed it, despite not being a G and Diva. I am writing to inquire... And then there's an etiquette question, which we might come on to. Uh, in fact, two etiquette questions that we will come on to, potentially. But she has also said the Guinness joke was very funny uh, and not as offensive as we expected. She's also put sniff the letter. Now, on the basis this was sent in May and I opened it at the end of July, I couldn't smell anything. It smells of perfume. Does it? Mm. I couldn't smell anything. But she has also sent in. And I... Oh, she's put one of those. Oh, that's so weird. I was talking about them the other day. Moomins. Oh, Moomins. Nice. Do you remember that? It was on, on Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. She it? sent in, and I've the frame is model zone. Um, this fantastic drawing of Camp. <gasps> I mean, the only yeah. That... I I quite fancy myself from this. Your thighs she's... look great there, and look at my your... thighs. How about everything else? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at that bulge. Yeah. You are packing, my well, friend. Well, thank Absolutely you so much. Absolutely packing. I mean... You'd have someone's eye out with that. <laughs> I don't know. Also, look at the... Like, I'm basically wearing stiletto heels in this. Um, they were Wellington boots I was wearing, actually, on stage. But no, thank you for this. this is, we're going to put this behind me in the we're studio. Put it straight, we'll do it there. Oh. The honour now. Look at Gosh, that. Look at George. Put it there. Yes, Ollie will move it next week, but you can put it there. <laughs> Ollie will move it and Adam will probably smash it. <laughs> He only broke one teacup. He's bro broken over, hasn't he? No, that, that was someone else. Oh, who's that? Is that Ollie? Probably. It wasn't Ollie. Sack the juggler. Right, what have we got? Right, this is from Jennifer Wilde. What a surname. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dear William Jordan. The new hit blockbuster starring Jennifer Wilde. 
Dear William Jordan, Producer Ben, Chairman, Chairman Emeritus Stewart and the Sexted Team, I was compelled to write to you following your discussion of Micah's debut into the natural deodorant world. Many years ago, my mother read an article in the Daily Mail that made some alarming claims about deodorants causing a plethora of devastating ailments. As a result, all three of her teenage children were swiftly banned from using any store-bought deodorants and were instead presented with a communal mineral rock from a local hippie shop which prevented body odour as effectively as Mikey's hair clay. As a consequence of my mother's embargo against traditional deodorants and the terror of three hormonal teenagers facing high school reeking of body odour, a clandestine deodorant economy emerged within the household. Sticks of Darwin and cans of Lynx Africa were hidden strategically around the house and even my poor grandmother joined the black market operation. Unfortunately, our cunning efforts to avoid the pointless mineral rock only spurred my mother on. Unaware of our secret deodorant supply, she declared the mineral rock a success as we all smelt as fresh as ever. I hope Mikey is having more success with his natural venture and returns fresh as a daisy from the building site each day. He does. He smells gorgeous. He's also got some new... I think it's ATK or something. He's he's branching out. Have you started using it? No. Okay. Uh, not, not for any particular reason, but I'm, I've, I've got... Does it smell nice? Is it odourless? Yeah. I, well, he hasn't smelled bad. Let's put it that way. It smells of roses. Constantly. I always... Especially in London in this heat, I always want to smell a bit old. Mm. Yeah. You never do. I've never, I've, I've never you. wafted. You sometimes you have bad breath, but I've never wafted. Like your deodorant's never been an issue. I've never thought, oh, he stinks a bit out. I probably have. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I've noticed. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> we all know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Just important to wash. Chris has been in touch about using talcum powder as discussed. That reminds me, I need to take my coffee machine back. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did. Sorry. This is the coffee machine you've been going on about and you've got everyone to buy. Yeah, it's broke again. Sorry. Right. Well, it's obviously... <laughs> <laughs> that actually reminded me. Laz, will you put that on my to-do list, please? This is not your PA. <laughs> just got my phone. <laughs> Anyway, talcum powder, as discussed in Help Producer Ben, is engaged. Hello, gentlemen. Firstly, the supposed health issues relating to talc are because historically it was often contaminated with asbestos. With modern testing and safety standards, this is no longer a concern. Oh, yeah. A well-known company got sued for it, didn't they? Yes. With modern testing and safety standards, this is no longer a concern, so it is perfectly safe to use, and talc is far superior to corn starch substitutes. Secondly, Anonymous's partner is clearly using too much, but if you try it yourself, you'll find that it's delightful. I started using a little talcum powder on my bollocks and crack in the summertime because I work long days and wanted to feel a little fresher. <coughs> I now use it daily and can't recommend the practice enough. After a shower, I apply a decent amount to my entire underwear region, but also add a sprinkle to my feet before putting my socks on. I'm going to use it for feet, yeah. Okay. It means that everything feels smooth, fresh and dry all day. It's good for babies, why not adults too? One caveat is that I don't use talcum powder if I'm anticipating some interpersonal conjugation in the near future, because nobody wants that. Pa. Pa. Give it a... <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Just no. Inadvertently done a rimming joke. No, I haven't. Um, have I? Yes. I'm just saying, if you like, for anyone, if you go down on someone and put talc on it, it'd be very. <laughs> Would it? Give it a crack, if you'll pardon the pun. I promise it will change your relationship with your scrote forever. I, I, He's called Jordan. I, th <laughs> I think it might be back in talcum powder. Maybe we're going to bring it back. Could help the old Betty's tea room. Swallow it. Betty right. Swallow it. Okay. Mm. Well, maybe we'll we'll investigate. Okay. You, I could be your talcum powder correspondent you, on a Capital Breakfast because that not, went down so well last time. Well, when I talked about talcum powder. Yeah. <laughs> You're not talcum powder in my balls on radio. I draw the line there. I mean, I didn't suggest that. We well, but... did. <clears throat> One last message from Chris. Dear William, another Chris. Dear William Jordan and producer Benedict. I have been reading the Giles Brandreth book about Queen Elizabeth. Some interesting details came up. For example, Mr. Brandreth claims Queen Elizabeth enjoyed her G&Ds 50-50, 
rather than two parts de bonnet, one part gin. Thank you. A shocking revelation. There we go. That's how I enjoy them. I was also interested to hear about the small Buckingham Palace lunches that took place for six guests, each with different backgrounds and areas of expertise who were invited to join Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip. Mindful that this is not a sex podcast and without mentioning talcum powder oh, or Jesus. tennis, oh, I don't. we're now a talcum powder podcast, um, I wonder who William and Jordan would invite to a Buckingham Palace lunch if they were to take on the roles of monarch and spouse. Great question. You're the spouse. Uh, you can decide which of you is best suited to the role of the straight-talking Duke of Edinburgh and which would be the Queen. So is this basically your ideal dinner guest? They'd have to be alive, wouldn't they? I think it's preferable for a yeah. dinner guest so, to be alive. Uh, but I guess you could ask. We could put our own together now. Let's riff it. All yeah. Right. Rebecca, so hang on, do we get three each? Three each. Okay. All right. Barack Obama. Oh, I feel he's get said every... I think he's like a... Sean Dyche. <laughs> Some meeting of minds. And... Go on, who's yours? And they've got to be alive still. Yeah, because it can't be the dead one. Because if they're... Maggie Smith. Yeah, good, good. Right, Maggie Smith. This is all good so Julie far. Julie Andrews. She's still alive? Yes. All right, Julie Andrews. Right, we've got one each. Julie Andrews. Who do I really admire? And Sean Mendes. <laughs> Great. Just for something nice to look Great. at. Great. Who would I have? No disrespect to Julie or Maggie. Barack Obama. Sean Dyche. Who would I have? Because I'd have Carolina Hearn. I feel you need a woman. Yeah, I'd have Carolina Hearn and Victoria Wood, but they're both dead. Mm. Uh, you see, I would have had Barry Humphreys, but dead. Oh, mm. oh would you? Mm. Who do I like that's a girl? <laughs> Loads. How long have you got? Sarah Lancashire. Sarah Lancashire. Sally Wayne, right? Um, love Sa no, Sarah Lancashire. No, no. Um, I'm really into it at the moment. I don't know why. I've ordered a biography. Julie Goodyear. Julie Goodyear. <laughs> <laughs> Julie Goodyear. There we go. Barack Obama, Sean Dykes, Julie Goodyear, Maggie Smith, Julie Andrews, and Sean Mendes. How would we how would we separate the two Julies? Would we call her Julie G and Julie A? Dame Julie and Miss uh, Goodyear. Probably. Okay. Is what we'd do. Right. And it's after that guest list, it's a good job we're not monarch. <laughs> Why, that'd be a great night. It would be a very interesting night. We'd probably, I mean, I think the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh always... Pass us the bays, Barack. <laughs> It'd be great. That was Sean Dyche. Oh, I thought it was Julie Goodyear. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Pass us a gravy. Please, Julie. No problem, Sean. There you go, love. Get that on you. That'd be great. What a lovely weekend release. Sean Mendes would be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Just shut up and take your top off. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get in touch about something that isn't a dilemma or a problem, you can drop into our DMs or you can send us an email to help at sextedmyboss.com. We also love hearing back from people we offer advice to, so if that's you, do get back in touch. And we'll speak to you on Tuesday. Yes, and no more talc and powder, please. No more talc. We're not a talc podcast. Not a talc podcast. Mm -hmm.